For this easy craft, you will need fabric of your choice, a tape measure, scissors, a sewing machine or a needle and thread, and batting. You're going to start by taking your fabric and you're going to fold it over. So that way you have a crease. Make sure it's nice and even. And this is going to be about four inches wide. And you can iron it flat if it helps you. We're going to cut an oval right here. And it's going to be 18 inches from the top to the bottom. So to make it easier for you, you can go ahead and cut this strip of fabric off. That way it's not attached to the rest of the fabric. And to make sure the oval is the same size, we're going to flip it over one more time. Okay? And now you're just going to do a little arch. So start from the bottom and do a curve and make a point. That way when you unfold it, you have a full oval. This is what you're going to use for the pattern for your other pieces. You will have a total of four pieces, so keep it folded and repeat this process. If you're using two coordinating fabrics like I am, you'll have two of each. So I have two pink and two black. And if you use it as a pattern, all four will be the exact same size. Now take two pieces and put them face side together. And then you're going to start from the very top of the oval at the point and you're going to hem it all the way down to the bottom. So from each point make sure it's sewn together. You're going to repeat this process with all four pieces. If you're using two coordinating fabrics, make sure that you don't put two of the same fabric beside each other. You want to make sure you're using every other. Once you get down to the last two pieces that you're stitching together, make sure you leave an opening so you can put all your stuffing inside the bean bag. You can either leave an opening in the middle or at the very bottom of the bean bag. It's your choice. I prefer to leave it open in the middle. It's, it's less noticeable and that way I can ensure there's not a gap or a hole at the bottom being left open. Now that you have your opening, you're going to flip the fabric inside out or right side out. So pull it through the tiny hope opening. Be sure not to rip the hole even bigger. And your bean bag will look like a deflated beach ball, which is perfect. Find your little opening and stuff it with whatever you want to fill it with. I used um, grocery bags. I like the sound that they make. It's easy to fluff up. You can also use scrap fabric or rice, beans, batting, whatever you have on hand will work. Once you fill it to your fullness, then you can hem the little opening together. Thanks for watching.